Con the goddess. Call on the goddess, the great mother, to come and be with us today. Hmm, great mother. She who is the feminine avatar of source. She who shows us what we can become, what is possible for us. We call you into this sacred space. Come and be with us, Great Mother. Come and be with us. Hello, and welcome to this sacred space. I'm Priestess Torah Arish Naimun, and I work with the Divine Feminine, the Goddess. I help and guide women to be in their Divine Feminine power, presence, and flow so that they can live their most beautiful, amazing, thriving, joyful life that's possible for them. So today I'm talking about the subject of worth and self-worth. And this is something that has really come up a lot for me lately. Something I've worked on on myself a lot, you know, and I'm not going to say that I've got it. Some days I do. Some days I know I am absolutely worthy. And other days, not so much. And that's okay. We are in a learning place. And that's kind of where this idea of the self-worth and what has been coming up for me a lot the last couple weeks has been is reminding myself and being guided to remind you of our purpose here on this earth and in these physical bodies. You, my sister, you are not here to prove you are worthy. You are a daughter of the goddess. And as such, you are intrinsically worthy. The goddess, our great mother, loves us unconditionally. She truly does. Our purpose for this world, for our lives in this physical incarnation, is to learn, to grow, to make mistakes. We gotta learn by doing everything perfectly. And I think part of our need to prove ourselves and our need and our feeling of lack of self-worth is from the major religions of the world that are patriarchy based that teach us, that teach people that they're here to prove themselves. They have to prove that they are worthy to return to their father's presence. They have to prove that they're worthy to go into those higher exalted states of heaven or nirvana, whatever you call it. But that's one of the things I love about goddess spirituality and about the goddess. She doesn't expect us to be perfect. She does not expect or want us to prove our worth. She wants us to live our worth. And by living our worth, that is being the best person we can possibly be at this moment. Now my best today could be vastly different than my best tomorrow because I've had experiences and I'm learning and growing. My best today is not what my best was a week ago or five years ago because I've had growing experiences. I've done my personal work, you know, 
two weeks ago, I was a crying mess. I'm not worthy. And when I feel that way, it's my judgment on me. It isn't the goddess's judgment on me because she does not judge us. She loves us unconditionally, my sister. And when we feel disconnected from that love, at least when I felt disconnected from that love, it has been my own doing. It is when I've gone into doubt and fear and self-hatred, hate of life and being physical, because it's hard. It's hard being physical. But when I reconnect to the divine within me, to my divine soul, then I know, without a shadow of a doubt, I know deep within me, deep in my body, that I am loved, that the Goddess loves me, and that I am her daughter, and I am divine, and as a divine being, I am completely and fully worthy. And you, my sister, are a daughter of the divine as well. And so are the men. But I work with women. So I'm talking to women. And as a daughter of the divine, as a daughter of the great mother, I, too, am divine. And so are you. Just checking in and seeing what she wants, what else she wants to tell me to say, because that's one of my gifts is being her voice. We as women are, well, everyone, but especially women, our wisdom and our power does not lie up, lie up here. That's kind of the lie that's been told that. You know, our brains and our minds are the ones in control. That's not true. Our souls are. And our souls don't live up here in our head bubble. And that's what Rachel Jane Groover calls it, and I really like the term, is your head bubble. That's not where our soul lives. And when we're in those periods of self-doubt, of self-hatred, of questioning our worth, and questioning why we're here, or all those myriad things that we just get in this loop, and it's a negative loop, and it kind of spirals down. It's up here. We're in our egos and our brains. And if we drop our attention down into our body, down into our belly, which is where our wisdom lies, is in our belly, and it flows out of our hearts. When we're in this place, which I call our soul wisdom, then everything flows. You know, just by doing that, I hope you can see it on camera. I can feel that difference of when I was up here in the head bubble and just thinking versus coming down and dropping in and dropping into my belly wisdom, dropping into my soul, my high heart, and connecting with my divine feminine power. Being in my divine feminine presence and being present in this moment, I feel that divine flow 
and I hope you can sense and feel that difference in the camera of that energy shift and change. So when I'm doing my mentoring work with women, one of the things I ask them to do is close their eyes and go within. And then from that place, find their wisdom. Because the head doesn't know. The brain doesn't know. All it is, is this a computer. It's all it is, is processing information. And it's a great thing. You know, one of my goddesses I work with and that I love working with is Minerva. And she is that, t teaches us that the mind and our intellects are very important. But it's the spirit, our soul, which tempers the intellect to become wisdom. And that wisdom comes from within. And from our soul wisdom, it doesn't come from our brains. It comes from our hearts. It comes from our belly. And when we're in this place, we are connected and we know we are worthy. And I do have an exercise that I want to show and share with you on connecting with the mother, with the great mother, with the goddess energy, that divine feminine. And when you connect with that, you can feel her love. Just talking about it, I have chills. I feel her love. I feel her presence. And with the goddess spirituality, she doesn't live somewhere out here. She doesn't live in heaven and watching down on us and judging us. And, oh, you did that, so, ooh, check mark off of you. Oh, you did that good, so here's a, you know, star for you. No. The goddess is imminent. She is all around us. There's a reason we call Mother Nature. You know, that's that energy of the Mother. Nature, she is everywhere and everything. And as everything, she is part of us. She lives within us. She is our Mother. She is our sister. She's our auntie, our cousin, our loved one. And her love is encompassing, is warm. It is soothing and it can be invigorating with the exercise to connect with the Divine Mother and remember your worth as the daughter of the goddess and feel her unconditional love and from that love knowing you are divine and you are worthy we're going to thank the Goddess and the Great Mother for being here and being in this sacred space and for reminding us of our divine feminine power. We give thanks, we give thanks, we give thanks. May you dance with the Goddess However, that dance shows up for you in love and joy. All my love to you. Until we meet again. There's great love here for you. We are complete.